は最高です。Okay, so if y'all didn't know, I'm literally obsessed with roses at this point. Thank you so much for Rose, to Rose Forever for sponsoring this video. Rose Forever is a company based in New York and is specialized in long-lasting rose arrangements made of 100% natural fresh flowers. They only use natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets are handcrafted by professional artisans. Just come in a round, square, and heart-shaped boxes with different textures like velvet, suede, marble, and crystal clear box. They can also deliver worldwide and they can range in sizes from 9 to 49 roses. And they could also have you a single rose sent to you in a crystal clear box. It is given Cinderella. Their roses are vegan too, so yeah. Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Kelly Nairi and we are back with another video. As you can tell by the caption and the thumbnail, today we are going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, dang and etiquette advice do's and don'ts you already know the drill if you are new here like i said my name is kelly and i read this is florida she just wants to be the star of the show right now um but i just did my um skincare routine as you can see it's looking very very flawless i'm going to introduce myself because i feel like i don't get a lot of time to introduce myself on my videos because i don't do a lot of sit down videos so nevertheless i do have two kids and the oldest is my girl Gabby, she's 11, my son is 7, and I am currently a stay-at-home mom. So my 7-year-old son, his name is Eddie, and he has epilepsy. My family decided collectively that it was a good idea for me to stay at home and just focus on my business, focus on the kids, because it was very, very hard trying to monitor and work with Eddie, and he's going through what he's going through. So he's been going through this since he was 3, so kind of what we're going through now. I own Icon Boutique for those of you that don't know. I do have a business channel so if y'all want to go ahead and go subscribe go ahead and check your girl out. But I have body care products, body butters, and body scrubs currently um, and I'm working on my fall collection right now so yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. Now that I've talked about me, let's get into it. The first thing that I'm going to start off doing is my brows. Um, they're kind of scarce a little bit and I like using a brow gel in order to put my brows in place. So if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking down at the mirror. I have my mirror right here. And so yeah, it's a little busted, but it do what it needs to do, okay? I do have my contacts in because a bitch can't see, okay? Let's go ahead and start the girl talk, okay? When you've gone through the first speaking stage, and a gentleman asks you out on a date, you allow him to pick the space first. Don't let him to say it's up to you or um, whatever you want to do. Don't allow him to say that. You want to put the ball in his court to see what he would rather do, not what you want to do. This will go ahead and speak to his intentions or what he had planned for you in his head initially. Like, what do you really want? I know the girls like y'all. For me, I want to know a man's intention when we first start kicking it because if you really on that bull crap, then go ahead and be on that bull crap. You know what I'm saying? But don't be on that bull crap with me. You feel me? So I'm going to tell y'all a few ways of like figuring out a man's intention with you. And these are a lot of signs that you could use or a lot of telltale signs that you could use that will tell you what a man's intention is is based on the first date selection okay on nor the red flags but make sure you acknowledge the green ones okay sis so what i just use on my brows is the um 24 hour brow brow setter by benefit i wanted to show you that real quick and i love 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 this brow setter i've been using this for a great while and it's been everything to me i haven't used anything else some girls be using like what is that edge control but I don't, I, don't, I don't use that. Like I said, I already did my skincare routine, glass skincare routine, period. But I do love to use a good primer. This primer has niacinamide in there. And what do I tell y'all about niacinamide? Like, if you don't know, niacinamide actually closes your pores and it stops oil, excess oil production. So especially if you're going to be out in the heat, you want to make sure that you use a primer that has niacinamide in there. This is the e.l.f. base or primer that I love. They do have a hyaluronic acid one, but it's going to be a little hot today. So yeah, I just put some right here. So yeah, so for the first date, I'm going to tell you the places that they will say 
and what it means, okay? So the first date, let's just say the first date he offered for you to go to dinner. His intention is to get to know you better and see if you both can vibe. You know what I'm saying? See if y'all can catch a vibe and um, he wanna get to know you, girl. He wanna be able to ask the questions that he wanna ask you and he wants you to be able to ask the questions that you wanna ask him, okay? He's in a stage where he's not playing. This is grown man activity. Don't be nervous because it's a dinner day because y'all gonna be sitting down talking. You need to make sure that he a good fit for you too, sis. So yeah, that's what that is. So let's go on to the other type of date that somebody might ask you to. Why did I just put that on my brows? What the heck? Going bowling, arcade, to the bar. Okay. Don't that sound like your friend? Yeah, he trying to keep it casual. If you ain't trying to keep it casual, then you need to move this brother on about his way. Because we ain't no casual casties over here. We dead serious Donna's. Don't play with me, okay? So honestly, that's really what it is. He wants you to loosen up. He don't want you to feel like it's a serious, serious thing. Be careful with this one because they can try to sneak in some rub, some feels, a kiss, try to get in where he fit in. And if you let him, he might think he got a chance. Don't even, if you go, just make sure you watch out for stuff like that. But me, that's a red flag. I went ahead and did my priming. And so I let my brows dry a little bit. I'm gonna go on to doing my brows. I like using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. I wanna show y'all what it looks like in the inside. It's literally busted, but this is quality Dip Brow Pomade. I love, love, love this pomade. And so the brush that I'm gonna be using is from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. Um, Numbers is because it has a spoolie on the end, girl. I've been using this for so long. The the numbers and everything is just it's gone. The movies. This is the intimate setting, and it requires you to be quiet and sit in the dark. And I don't know. You know what the next movie is, baby. You know what the next movie is. We've been in the movies. We've seen it in the movies. We done been through it a few times, you know what I'm saying? This man most likely is one, broke, two, a kid, or three, just trying to get them draws. And he could be all of the above. That's a red flag. Okay, so the last one is being flewed out or being taken to a destination way far past your city that you gotta spend the night. Girl, please. We already know what this man doing. This will always put you in a position to be pressured to do some shit you don't wanna do. And you don't ever wanna be in that position. You might feel like this man has taken the initiative to plan all this stuff out and um, that he's being a leader and he's he's coming for what he want. Yeah, he coming for what he want. And the only thing he want is them draws. That's a red flag. But yes, yeah, sis, if he don't come correct the first time, Leave that ninja to the left, okay? And if he ain't talking about no date the first three days that y'all texting, and I, I, you know I like to keep it, I like to keep it even. So if in the first three days he ain't talking nothing about no date, cut him off. Because why are you wasting my time? Why you keep saying what you doing? Nothing. I'm doing nothing, absolutely nothing. So the reason why I'm talking about first dates is believe it or not, the first date will set the tone in the entire relationship, whether it's a end up being a friendship, a best friendship, a relationship, like a, a, a intimate relationship, whatever. That sets the tone. Like your first impression sets the tone, period. But when it comes to this type of relationship we talking about, the first date sets the tone, okay? We're trying to make sure you receive respect from the beginning. Don't play with it. The first thing you want to make sure is that you do not sit down before this man sit down. Make sure that um, it, either he pull out your chair and have you sitting down or the waiter pulls out your chair. But either way it go, you not touching your chair. Do not be seated before him. Have him seat you or have the waiter seat you. And if he don't do nothing or if he don't seat you, just stand there at the chair. I know that might be like a little bit, but it's gonna make him feel stupid. Cause don't play, don't play with us. Queen treatment only, not princess. Queen bee treatment only. Okay. 
you gonna get the memo right there like okay yeah this one not to be played with and not sir Sorry, you thought you came to play. If you come correct straight out the gate, you know you got you. Y'all just don't know how tired I am of this camera overheating. So I have this Sony ZV-1 camera and like, it be overheating like no other. So I love using NARS for the top of my brow. I use um, in the shade Medium Dark Caramel. So I'll use that color. And then I love using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer for under my brow to highlight and this one is in the shade tan. Um, the second thing is, the when you first sit down, the first thing they're gonna ask you is what do you want to drink? And honestly, do not order a drink before he order a drink because you wanna see what type of time he on. If you order some wine, you order some wine. Or if you don't drink, order like a mocktail, a sparkling water with lime, or you can order water with lemon. I always do water with lemon, especially if, it's, if they didn't order something, to, you know, some wine or something. If that man get a beer, order some wine or order your water or your mocktail, whatever. But don't order no beer. I don't care if you drink beers. Just don't order a beer. I'm not saying don't drink beer. That's just not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you don't want to get too drunk. It looks crazy right now, but just give it a second. But I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD. This one is in the shade YF. Two five. What? Y425. What the heck am I talking about? So yeah, this is Make It Forever HD. So this is an ultra high definition um foundation. And I've been using this for like three or four years now, this brand, and I ain't got off it since. That should tell you something. So if you were to get a red or a white wine, a red or a white wine. I would suggest you get for white wine a Moscato or ice wine if they have it. For red wine, I would I would recommend Lambrusco or Port wine if you like sweet wine. The same for appetizers. Like if they do ask y'all if you want a um, appetizer, which most times they do, um, let him choose the appetizer. If he doesn't want an appetizer and he asks you, you want one, just say no and just ask for a salad. Um, I usually like getting the uh, Caesar salad because I don't like onions. So that's what I would get. Okay, so appetizers are pretty much like dessert. Like I said, don't order no dang on dessert if that man didn't order no dessert. What did you do? Okay, for dinner, I like to stick with like a protein and veggies. I don't like to order like anything other than that because, wait, let me get my neck, y'all. <laughs> because if I keep talking. Okay, and another tip, do not eat all of the food that's on your plate. Leave some on the plate. So, yeah, in some cultures, it's disrespectful to, um, one, eat all the food off the plate, and then two, to order takeout if he didn't order, if he, no, to order a carryout if he didn't order a carryout. So that's another thing. If you want to take the food, but he's not taking his food, don't take your food. I'm sorry, sis. <laughs> I'm sorry, but don't take your food. If he get a carryout, follow suit and do the same thing. Like, why not? So what I'm using right now is this Fire, Fire Queen Horoscope um by benefit if y'all don't know now y'all know but yeah and this is what it looks like in here you can see it so i'm gonna use this right here the quick etiquette that i want to tell y'all about the first thing you want to do when you're getting ready to eat is to place the handkerchief on your lap to avoid any um, stains or anything on your clothes because girl after you get up out this table you're gonna have to stand up or you're gonna have to go to the bathroom or anything and that's when that type of stuff gets seen and it's like all oh, heads off <laughs> you don't want to be that girl okay um the next thing is when you need to wipe the side of your mouth your mouth anything make sure you grab close to the side of the handkerchief not that side but close to it and just wipe your mouth like that, okay? 
That will ensure you're not getting the whole handkerchief dirty if you don't have to, but you're also cleaning or getting that stuff off of your mouth, okay? The next thing, let's talk about plates, because a lot of people don't know this. But the smaller plate is used for appetizers or a salad. The smaller plate that's on the table. The bigger plate is used for your entree or for your dinner, okay? Just want to let y'all know that that's what that is used for. A lot of people are confused. Also, the smaller fork is for your salad, and the bigger fork is for your dinner. Another thing, too, is the short wide glass is a water glass, and the little bit taller, slimmer glass is for your wine. A lot of times they pour this for you, though. We are going to be talking about the do's and the don'ts of dating and asking questions. Um, I would say the first do is to ask follow-up questions like when y'all are talking make sure you're asking follow-up questions to this man about what it is that he just said or just letting him know that you understand by nodding your head like yes <laughs> while he's talking this this lets him know that you're actively listening instead of um just staring at him blank like <laughs> you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about girl Next one is to ask questions about him, girl. Like, ask questions about this man. And if he a real one, he gonna flip the question and be like, so what about you? Okay. I mean, he wanna know about you, baby. And that's always a green flag. Always a green flag. Remember I was telling y'all? Them green flags are mud, okay? And it is beautiful to know that, like, he's not just talking about himself. That's another thing you wanna make sure and be um precise about that you know you're not taking up all the room talking about yourself your accomplishments this and the third that is a shared thing okay and that's very very important make sure you are making eye contact with them make sure you're making eye contact when you're talking to them and you know even though you might be nervous girl i know how it get like my nerves be bad sometimes too but when you're talking to someone make sure you make eye contact if you can't look them in the eyes look at them in the middle of their eyes or something okay you don't necessarily have to look them directly in the eye just look at them on their face don't be looking up at their hairline though because people can tell when you're doing that if you need to use the restroom at any point in time make keep that at a minimum too and also being on your phone because those are distractions and you want to make sure the person that you're with make sure they feel like they're you know special and that you're putting your attention on them while you're out with them you know what i'm saying don't even tell them you about to use the bathroom first of all because a lot of times if you get up to leave they know what the heck going on you can just say excuse me for a minute and then get up and walk away or if it's an emergency you could just kind of cut them off with your finger be like okay i gotta take this call just give me a moment but when you are using your manners when you're saying please excuse me or just give me a moment please that speaks a lot to your character and who you are. Just make sure in that time that you say something like that before you get ready to go use the bathroom or answer the phone. The other do is to make sure that you compliment the place that he brought you to and make sure that you tell him thank you. A lot of guys, like girls, you would be surprised by how many guys just think that the smallest things like this are like the hugest, hugest thing, especially if you really do like the place like go ahead and compliment and tell him that the place is nice and just add, you know just tell him thank you for bringing you here and you know what i'm saying just make sure make that a point of saying because you just don't know like they appreciate that so much we're over five do's now let's go into five don'ts do not ask about his ex or his past relationships on the first date there's no reason for you to do that, okay? Not talk about your ex. Don't bring your ex up or don't say, oh, well, my ex used to do this. Even throughout the relationship, let me give y'all a tip, period. Like, even throughout the relationship, if y'all do end up going, you know, to that place, you do not want to start out telling him what your ex used to do to you or what you've been through and all that other stuff. Because a lot of times, like I said, we're setting the standard for how you want them to treat you. If you go on about what you let slide, Guess how he gonna do? 
Okay, so I just had to apply my lashes off camera again because my camera is overheating and it's doing stupid stuff. But um, let's go on to the next tip, girl. So if the date, let's just say the date is just not going how you imagined it would be and how you imagined it would go, do not get upset. Do not um, start acting like you don't want to be there. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it, just keep it ladylike. Still go through the date, you know what I'm saying, with, you know, grace and, um, you know, just tell them thank you as always and, you know, go about your business. The next don't is do not offer to pay. To a man and a real man, that right there is disrespectful. That's all the tips I got. I'm about to go fix my hair, put on my little outfit. Show y'all my outfit, and then we pretty much gonna be done because my makeup is done, and it looks so cute. Like, look at me. Look at my ears, so cute. Okay, y'all, be back. Okay, y'all, so here's the reveal. This is the dress. Um, I'm probably gonna do a, a pan video for y'all so y'all can see design right here. It's super, super cute. But right now, what I'm gonna do, and this I think is very important on your first date as well, you don't wanna overdo it with accessories, so, Probably put on a few bracelets, put on some cute earrings, a nice little necklace, and keep it at that. You can wear anklets too. I'm really, I'm really a fan of anklets, but wearing like bracelets is and stacked bracelets are like I just feel like so feminine. <laughs> if you will, like if you know what I'm talking about. And then little um earrings like these. Y'all see me wear these a few different times, but um earrings like this. Super, super cute. Um, I do want to announce the winner real quick. And you have three days to respond. And if you don't, then we're going to pick another winner. But I'm going to put the winner um, name in the description box as well. Or no, I'm just saying on the camera because I, I want people to make sure, make sure that, you know, this is the right person. But um, I'm going to put it up here on the screen real quick. And that is the winner. I really, really, uh, congratulations to you. I really hope that you reach out to me. Make sure you send me an email stating your name. Um, and we'll go ahead and go from there. But my email is in the description box below. This right here, I really, really love this perfume. This is a real nice day night perfume. Um, and this is the YSL. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on. When I was telling you about the Vaseline points, so I put Vaseline right here, right here, and the inside of my ankles as well. So I'm gonna spray those in those areas. I'm smelling good, looking good. I'm ready to go and I'm, you know, I'm looking the part. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed, babe. And leave a comment down below if you have any add-ons, if you have any questions. I am really open to y'all questions and I'm very active in the comment section. I don't know if y'all know, but I am and I really, really love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.